I like you. I'm going to put you down for 20 boxes. 20? I can't afford... I'm doing you a favor, but no discount unless you order 30 boxes. No, what I want is... 30 boxes. You got it. Nice doing business with you, buddy boy. Did that guy just wink at me? You got off easy. Sometimes he pats my bum. He's just some pushy salesman. Well, what does he sell? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I don't really know. I said he's pushy. So you are telling me that you just bought 30 boxes of something and you don't even know what? Hey, aren't you going to ask me why I'm not wearing my work shirt? Because that guy told you not to? It slipped off the hook and then into the garbage and then out to the dumpster and hauled away. You know, Brent, I'm a little more concerned about you getting pushed around by this guy. Yeah, I ordered a new one. Should be here soon. Okay. Are you, are you just making up my side of this conversation? A little hungry, yeah. You can start in the hall upstairs. Who's that? Robert Redford. Baloney. Wait. That's a painter, isn't it? You hired a painter. You said we were going to talk about this first. And we did. I'm getting a painter for upstairs. We're not getting any painting done. That's final. See? We talked about it. The paint fumes make me queasy. If you go ahead with this, I'm going to find somewhere else to sleep. If that's a threat, you should make it less appealing. See, is Brent around? Got to talk to him about something. OK, then. Off you go. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a secretive thing. OK, then. Off you go. I mean, I tell you too, Wanda, but every time I tell you about one of my plans, not that this is a plan, necessarily, but you know, you make fun of me. That's not fair. I don't just make fun of your plans. I make fun of your clothes and your truck. I make fun of how broke you are and the stupid things you say and the weird smell that comes off you sometimes. Don't I? True. Yeah. So then you'll have to admit, I'm pretty fair and well-rounded about it. Yeah, okay, you got a point there. I'm sorry I came down so hard on you. Apology accepted. Hey, I gotta talk to you. Me too. You wanna buy 30 boxes or something? How much? 110 bucks. No, my turn. I was watching a TV show last night, and they showed how people make those UFO crop circles. Interesting. 100 even. That's less than my cost. Look, I don't wanna buy a bunch of... What's in the boxes again? Probably something awesome. Damn, I would, but I'm broke. Don't tell Wanda. She'll make fun of me, all right? Anyway... I'm gonna fake some UFO crop circles tonight, freak people out. You want in? Intriguing. How do we do it? Well, we... You lost me. Listen, I gotta sleep at your place for a while. Why? Everything okay? If it was okay, I wouldn't have to find somewhere else to sleep. Not exactly detective material, are you? You know, if you need a favor from someone, maybe you should insult that person less. Come on, it'll be fun. Like a sleep around. <laughs> Why can't you sleep at home? Just the thought of staying there makes me queasy. I'll see you at supper time. I eat at six. What was that about? I think Oscar and Emma may be splitting up. Harsh. Hey, they were out of popsicles, so I got you a creamsicle. That's all you have to say about this? What? Would you rather have a fudgicle? A divorce? Oscar and Emma. Wow, that's a real bombshell. You see, that's an appropriate response. Sadness and outrage. I'm not outraged. I'm not even sure if I'm sad. I mean, maybe it's the best thing for them. Anyway, the soup today is mushroom. Is there a sandwich special? How can you eat at a time like this? So nothing for you? I just had a creamsicle. And a fudgicle. Anyways, until we know for sure, I don't want either of you spreading this around. Kaputski. Emma kicked him to the curb. It's heartbreaking. Don't be such a sap. Do you have any idea what it would be like to live with Oscar? 
I'm about to find out. Yeah, well, Emma put in 40 years. By the time you hit 40 minutes, you'll be thinking of places to hide a body. And they just argue out a habit. They'd be lost without each other. I packed my bag, and I'm leaving. You thought I wouldn't do it. I thought you left an hour ago. Yeah, there are a couple of star-crossed lovebirds. Has anybody even thought about what this will do to Brent? Let's find out. Hey, Brent, you hear your parents are Splitsville? I got real problems. Check this out. They made my shirt the wrong color. Hey, Karen. You see those weird lights over Booch's farm last night? No. What kind of lights? Weird ones. You know, in the sky, flying, yet unidentifiable, presumably from some objects. I mean, like UFOs? Oh, hey. Hey, where'd that come from? What time was this? Eight. I mean, no, later, like midnight. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know, because uh, come, come to think of it, um, my watch stopped working. Weird. You should check it out. Well, I don't know anything about watches, but OK, let's take a look. No, no, not my watch. Check out the field. You know, look into it, you know, like a cop would do. Are the fumes bothering you? Oh, no, the fumes aren't bothering me. It's all these bats. Uh, are you OK? Oh, yeah. Ooh. But this spaghetti is awful. I'm out of paper towels out there, so could you go and get more? I'm doing a crossword, so could you go and talk less? I'm serious. We need paper towels out there. Or what? Wouldn't be the first time someone in this town wiped their hands on their pants. Could you just go and grab some paper towels? Yeah, you bet. We'll do it now. Hey. <sighs> right from the carton. Like being on vacation. <laughs> oh, did you want that? Oh, well, kinda. But, but that's okay. I know this is a difficult time for you. Yeah, I hate mornings. New shirt, huh? Hawkeye. You like it in black like that? Shirt's a shirt. <laughs> you okay? I will be when I get this baby. 70 Cuda with a 446 pack and a pistol grip four speed. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you were into hot rods. There's plenty you don't know about me. <laughs> hey, Emma. Oh. oh. How you doing? Oh. Okay, I guess. Be honest. This is getting to you, isn't it? Well, maybe just a little, but it'll be worth it in the long run. You know, uh, Oscar's really upset about this. It will be all right. You'll see. Both of you. Maybe the fumes are getting to me. Have you noticed anything odd about Brent? 40-year-old dude who reads comic books. He has a 12-pound head. His nose whistles. How much time you got? Well, you know, he just, he seems different lately. He's not his usual happy-go-lucky. Well, goofy-go-lucky. Goofy-go-lazy. Oh, <laughs> you know, he, he's just not himself. And uh, honestly, I, I find this new black shirt, Brent, to be a little unnerving. <laughs> OK, Glenda Goodwitch, it's just a shirt. <laughs> no need to be scared of it. Bathrooms are dirty. Sorry, Brent, I'll get on it right away. Hey, anyone mention those mysterious crop circles over at Booch's farm? Huh? <laughs> Karen's gonna be freaked out. I made them last night. It's the middle of May. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you want to make crop circles, don't you need a crop? There's crops, kinda. You spent the night making dirt circles. Well, I can't wait for crops. I want to freak people out now. So pretend to read a book. Huh? 
Look, you don't have to do much to rattle people. Like I'm wearing this new shirt, suddenly everybody's all edgy and nervous around me. I'm playing it up too, being all sullen and aloof like Look. It up. That nah, sounds complicated. I'm sticking with the UFO thing. What the hell are you doing? Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh... Davis called. Said his lawn was too tall. Needed me to flatten it out for him. Yeah. In a mysterious pattern. It's a circle. You freaked out? I'm calling the cops. Does Davis know you're wearing his pants? Sorry, official complaint. Gotta make it official. You know, you should put these on behind my back. Otherwise, I could wrap them around your neck or something. But then I'd shoot you. All right. Well, relax. I was just saying. Yeah, so it was cloudy this morning, but it looks like it's clearing up. whoop de ding Pardon? You heard me. Drool much? <laughs> I am not drooling. Whatever you say, Julie. But you like this new bad boy, Brent, don't you? Brent, a bad boy. The same Brent who won't eat crunchy peanut butter because, and I quote, it feels lumpish and bumply. That was blue shirt Brent. Black shirt Brent would eat crunchy peanut butter right off a spoon. No bread. He's a bad boy and you like it. Oh, as if. Look at, I am a grown woman. I'm not some freckly faced girl in junior high. Really? Because you just used the phrase, as if. Oh, whatever. I mean, give me a little credit. Girly. Cop station's back that way. I'm taking you to clean up that fake crop circle you burnt into Booch's field. <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, huh? <laughs> Wait, I didn't burn a circle in Booch's field. Well, if you didn't, then... Then what? Hey, you don't think... Think, think what? Oh my God! Karen, you're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. That aliens made the burn mark? No, but that does make more sense. Davis, what are you doing? Extraterrestrial visitors. Those are their markings. I don't think we need to... Karen, I want you to get the RCMP down here right away. Tell them we got a 1092. Parking violation? By aliens. We got scorch marks. And some kind of strange metal. Hey, not so close. It could be radiation. Oh, and radiation. Come on, there's no radiation. I can't plant my crops in a field full of radiation. You'd probably get giant carrots and tomatoes. Radiation kills people. Still, giant carrots. Come on, aren't we overreacting here? I mean, it's probably just an elaborate prank done by someone else from another town. I don't know, Karen, in the car, we both thought it was aliens. I mean, okay, I thought it was an exploding cow at first, but you know, you set me straight. Well, hello there. You startled me. Can I help you? Whoa, he's up, she-wolf. Coming on a little strong. First things first. Lacey, this is Marco. Well, hello there. <laughs> Hi. Wanda, is this a friend of yours? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. He's all yours. Mine? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wanda, are you trying to set me up with this guy? You're welcome. Bad boy. I think my fake crop circles probably signaled the aliens to come here. Welcome to Earth. Welcome, Space Brothers, to our humble planet. And I didn't even know that's what I was writing. Hank, I did it. You signaled the aliens? No. I made the burn marks. Now I've ruined a farmer's field and broke the law. Several laws, and you're a cop. Where are you? Yes, and I'm a cop who's in serious breach of protocol. Karen, look, let me say I did this. I'll take the fall. 
Oh, I can't let you do that, Hank. Although it would make things way easier on me. Okay, let's do that. But listen to this. How many unpaid parking tickets you got? Loads. He ain't kidding either. <laughs> I saw them in his glove box. His glove box? Have you been driving around with this guy? Jealous much? No. I'm just not interested in guys dressed like porn stars from the 70s. No offense. You're not far off the mark. So what's your story? Ah, uh, whatever it is, you're not in it. What a day I had. Aliens, radiation. Be a crime here, River. Why are you wearing my pajamas? Because I go to bed right after supper. Maybe you could make one of those egg pies. Quiche? With the tomato dip. Salsa? Don't speak English. On second thought, why don't we have dinner at the Ruby? My treat. Do I have to change out of my pajamas? Your call. Seriously, I could really go for a chick like you. I know you could. I'm a hell of a woman. But here's the thing. You kind of creep me out. What I mean to say is, you creep me out. Probably because you're so creepy. Hey, Wanda, I need you to do the purchase orders pronto mundo. OK, sure, right away. Geez, a girl can't get a sack to herself with guys like you and him around. Me and him. Nice shirt. Hey, Davis. What'd you want to see me about? Hi, Emma. Hi. Have a seat. Is dessert here yet? Hey, Emma. Oh, look, and there's Oscar, your husband. What? What? I wanted to stay in my pajamas. My pajamas? Wow, looks like you two are getting along. Oh, don't be fooled. Oscar doesn't like this one bit. Yeah, he told me you make pies that are full of nothing but eggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does my heart good to see you two like this. Divorce would just be wrong. Who's getting a divorce? You guys. What? Fat chance. She's not getting half my magazines. So you guys can work this out? There's nothing to work out. He's only staying at your house because we have a painter and the fumes make him queasy. Oh. Now I spent 20 years collecting those magazines and you can forget it. So you don't mind being a hotel for a couple more days? <laughs> no problemo. Do you have any more cookies? I left some socks in the sink. Hope that's okay. No problemo. Speak English. Hey. Where's your black shirt? I threw it in the dumpster. Oh. I mean, it's just a shirt. I don't need to act like a tough guy and wear a black shirt just to get people's attention. Hello? Oh, sorry. What? I can be plenty manly, just wearing a, a plain tan, you know, or custard or whatever. What do you, this is like a saffron bisque or? Brandt, it's just a shirt. Who cares what color it is? You know, it's it's not cool, just because it's dark and mysterious. Hey, what do you know about this uh, Marco guy? I know he put me off toothpicks for a while. People of Dog River, media, icky guy, I don't know. Hank Yerbo has an announcement. <clears throat> I, uh... I made the burnt circles in Booch's field. Is this a joke? No, I did it. You did it? Yep, just me. What, Hank did it? Okay, he said he did it. You don't have to crucify him. Wow, Hank. I have to say I'm impressed. First rate pranking, Hank. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, come on, Al. It was nothing. If it was anyone else, I'd have him thrown in jail, but Hank. Bravo. <laughs> he didn't burn the field. She did. And I saw her. She's a big fat liar. You dropped your free sandwich card in the circle. And Hank took the blame for this. 
Karen encouraged me to. You made a mockery of the badge. Five minutes ago, everyone was impressed with the prank. Yeah, when we thought Hank did it. Another round of applause for Hank. <laughs> Sorry, had to make it official. I understand. Be careful. She can strangle us from back there. Lacey, that bully salesman is coming and I threw away my black shirt. You don't need the black shirt. Just go in there and stand up to him. I can't be Fonzie in a powder blue smock. You gotta help me. Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> what are your muffins ready? Muffins. My muffins are just... Never mind my muffins. Look, I didn't want your crap before and I don't want your crap now. So you can haul your 30 boxes of crap back to Crapville. Look. Scram! <laughs> All right. Just never mind my muffins. Truly.